Hi, I'm Matt Stone with an Encore performance up on the roof at the world famous Brit Pavilion. When the Brit organization needed to re-roof the structure over the theater, they commissioned Pressure Point Roofing to handle the project. So as you could see before, the wood shingles that were installed on the theater itself were old. They were split, they were curling, they were cracked. The roofing system was decayed. Now we have installed this GAF Camelot 2 shingle. It's really designed to look like slate, but in the right applications, it can actually have a wood shingle look to it as well. And so that's what the Brit organization wanted to do is they wanted to maintain that wood shingle look that they had previously, but they wanted a longer lasting product. So they chose this Camelot 2 shingle, which they had installed on some of the other buildings around the Brit properties already. When it came to install this, due to the pandemic, due to supply chain shortages, so on and so forth, they honestly weren't that worried about color. We were fortunate enough in that when we were working with our suppliers and our vendors, we found a shingle color that complements the siding color almost perfectly. It took some work, we had to ship it from the East Coast, but we were able to get them the look they wanted and at the same time get them a color that will complement the theater. All of this and the product is warranted for 50 years as well. In a commercial application like this, it's actually 40 years with 20 years non-prorated. In a residential application, this system would be 50 years non-prorated for the original owner and for the second owner if that's happened before 20 years. But really the beauty of it is the way that they have these shingles cut with these little notches and then with the gaps and then where they've got the double laminates that happen along with the shadow lines, it really gives you that look of slate or the look of wood shingles with the courses along with the gaps that happen periodically. It's just really a nice shingle to look at and especially with the patrons sitting here for the shows, the, the, the comedies, the music concerts, so on and so forth, this really gives them something nice to look at that's not beat up, it's not metal, it's not a harsh thing to look at. The nice thing about asphalt shingles, it, it really is, a, if you get the right colors, it really is a warm tone. It brings some comfort, which kind of seems funny that you talk about roofing with comfort, but the earth tones really bring things down to earth for people looking at either homes or in structures like this where it is right here in your face, ground level. Um, you really want a product that is going to be aesthetically nice to look at, and at the same time, because of the cost of a product like this, you want it to last for a long time. And that's why the Brit organization chose to go with the Golden Pledge warranty from GAF. As you saw in the previous video, the wood shingles that were here on the north side of the building had a real problem with moss, algae, so on and so forth growing on it. And it was growing because of that ability to absorb and to maintain and to soak up moisture. That's what really creates that moss growth on those types of shingles. With the asphalt shingles, yes, you can still get moss, you can still get algae. The nice thing about these shingles is they have a 3M granule that's been treated for algae, so it does have some protection. They've incorporated a copper granule into these shingles, which helps protect against that algae growth. Algae and moss are different. They are two different biological growths. That copper granule can help inhibit moss growth, but it does not stop it. It can still happen over time. But the beauty of it is you can go up there and you can treat it with a moss, you know, wet and forget, moss be gone, whatever product you want to use. Some people have used Tide soap. Um, you can incorporate that just by sprinkling it or spraying it on the roof area where the moss is at. If you start early, you can prevent a lot of damage, but you can keep this beautiful looking product for a long, long time. As you're looking at the video, you're probably seeing some of these little lifts, some of these things like this. And what that is, is that's just where the sun hasn't hit these shingles yet. It's been fairly cool. This north side of the building does not get direct sunlight. So it's going to take a little while for these to, to settle down, but they will once it gets a little warmer. So we always tell our customers, give it some time for the shingles to relax. In the previous video, we showed you this Camelot 2 shingle in an antique slate color, I believe is what it's called. During the pandemic, with supply chain issues and everything else, GAF has suspended the manufacturing of this product. As I mentioned in the full commercial spot, we were fortunate in that our supplier worked really hard for us, which is SRS Distribution. They worked really hard for us and were able to find that Barkwood Camelot 2 color for us on the East Coast, and then we were able to ship it over here. To, to get just enough to be able to do that project. So unfortunately, they've suspended the, the manufacturing of the product. This is one of the colors that it comes in. It's a really nice looking product. We really enjoy installing it. 
it looks great on almost any style of home, but especially where you've had a wood shingle application, it just seems to blend in nicely. There is another uh, product called Grand Sequoia and Grand Canyon, which are designed to look even more like the wood shingle and the wood shake look with the ruggedness of it. Uh, but the Camelot 2 does a really good job of looking like wood shingles in those areas where you're going to be up close to it. On this building, we wanted to show you a, a detail that oftentimes gets overlooked in most residential and commercial construction. It's the pipe flashings. Oftentimes what you've got is a rubber gasket that then goes down around that pipe and, and seals around the pipe. Give it 10, sometimes 15 years, those rubber gaskets start to split because they're really thin. They're, there's really not a whole lot to them. They'll start to split and you can get roof leaks from those areas. They make rubber caps that you can slide on over the top, but it's a hassle and like I say, 10, sometimes 15 years later, that's when you'll start having those problems. If you look close at these pipe flashings designed and manufactured by Lifetime Tool, it's called a Lifetime Pipe Flashing, it's got a rubber gasket on it that's about that thick. It's, it's a beefy rubber gasket. It's not gonna erode from the sun like that. It's, it's, it's gonna last a much, much longer period of time. And then it's got a, a clamp that snaps on that rubber gasket to help hold it tight. It's designed for inch and a half pipes, two inch pipes, three inch pipes, four inch pipes, so that it fits precisely on those and gives you a good tight seal. But again, it's got that real thick rubber gasket. It's an increased cost, it costs more money, but you've also got a, an aluminum base instead of just galvanized metal, it's an aluminum base so it won't rust, it won't corrode. Again, you're putting on a shingle that has a lifetime warranty on it, 50 years non-prorated if you use GAF or Owens Corning with the certified applicator for it. Those pipe flashings typically are not covered. The lifetime pipe flashings are covered by GAF's Golden Pledge warranty, giving you added peace of mind for your home or for your commercial building. As you've seen from the drone video of the upper roof that we have here on the pavilion on the theater roof, this is a standard architectural asphalt shingle. It's GAF's Timberline HDZ shingle. That HDZ shingle is North America's number one shingle. Comes in a variety of colors. The style, you see it in a lot of subdivisions, you see it on a lot of custom homes. It has the algae inhibitors to give you that algae resistance. The Timberline HDZ shingle is a good, functional, efficient shingle that looks very nice. We do a lot of roofs every year. Um, I think residentially, I think we do 150, 200 roofs a year, give or take. We take a lot of pride in what we do. It's not very often that we get to work on a project where you're gonna have thousands, hundreds of thousands of people see it over the course of time. The Brit Pavilion is one that we are very honored to have been chosen to work on. The Brit organization put a lot of trust and confidence in our company to be able to do this. We had told them we would be able to get the shingle they wanted when the other contractors they were talking to said they couldn't. A lot of that is based on our vendors that we work with, the suppliers that we have, that we have established relationships with. And when we call them, we know that their organizations go across the nation. Pressure point roofing has a reach that, you know, state of Oregon, yeah, pretty good. But when you're talking, you need a special product, you need something that everybody says they can't get. We talk to our vendors and we say, hey, this is what we got, this is what we need. We talk with our, with our customers and we tell them we're gonna be able to deliver it. We're gonna be able to deliver it. So we really appreciate the trust that the Brit organization put in pressure point roofing and, and taking care of this project for them. I hope that as you come to the shows at, at Brit, that you can appreciate the details and the effort that went into putting this roofing system together, not just from the pressure point side, but the cost and expense that Brit went into putting it together to continue having a venue that really provides a, a nice environment to have shows in and at the same time protect their investment. Everybody knows that, that costs have gone up a lot we know that Brit had to spend some money to get this done, and we really appreciate the opportunity to, to have gained their trust for this project.